TVJ News learned today that residents of 5th Street in Trenchtown, St. Andrew, where five persons were shot and injured on Friday, were warned ahead of time that men were planning to strike. But the police say residents did not take the warning seriously. Kirk Wright has the latest. Five persons were shot and injured along 5th Street in Trenchtown about 6.30 Thursday evening. The injured include a child and a woman who were shot in the face. None of the victims have succumbed, but their medical condition is still not known. However, the police told TVJ News that the people in Trenchtown, including those on 5th Street where the shooting took place, were warned about a possible attack. The police say before the five were shot, a police team was driving through the community using a loudspeaker to tell residents to leave the streets because they had information about a planned shooting. But the police say the residents jeered them, saying they weren't leaving the streets because it was not yet curfew time. The people did not. The police say not long after, a white car drove onto 5th Street. The occupants fired, hitting five residents. In the meantime, the Kingston Western Police Division recorded at least seven murders this week. The latest killing happened Thursday night on Pink Lane, when gunmen shot and killed a man who has only been identified as Barry Dredd. Barry Dredd was killed less than 24 hours after a double murder, which also happened on Pink Lane. The police believe his death is directly linked to the double murder. The day before, on Wednesday, two people were killed hours apart in Arnick Gardens. One was killed in a section of the community called Mexico, the other in an area known as Angola. Residents say the upsurge in violence between gangs in Denham Town and the Tivoli Gardens area escalated on July 3. The police say sections of the division are now tense and that they have stepped up their foot and mobile patrol in the division. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.